Hello. Why is the movement going backwards? Why are same people around the world, I'll name some in a minute, pushing an outdated message that didn't work 50 years ago and isn't going to work today? Why are you, Dr. David Duke, pushing the outdated rhetoric of exposed Jewish supremacism, fight the Zionists and all the other anti-Jew stuff that didn't work 50 years ago and isn't going to work now? If it's to sell more books, fair enough, I understand. Principles don't pay your bills, I understand. But then you should announce that you're now an historian. Right? You're not pushing politics, you're not pushing an idea to awaken all people. That's just for the cult, for the hobby club. Right? It's not politics. Uh, Richard Spencer, he pushes save the white race. I'll use him as an example. The public's not interested in save the white race. It sounds like save the Duckbill Platypus or the Dodo. They're not interested in save the white race. And if they are, where does that message work before? Well, it hasn't and never will. We're going to be, whites are going to be a minority in 40, 50 years time. Public's not interested in what's happening next week. They want to know what you're going to do now for them. Not in 40 years time. That's another dead in the water message, that one. Christ. Uh, let's push traditional values. Where did pushing traditional values get Mary Whitehouse? Well, exactly. And how can you push traditional values swimming in a sewer? Well, exactly. You can't. Or Nick Griffin's reconquista. Let's relocate to Eastern Europe. Uh, this 1% of elite whites uh, marry, have children, shield them from the liberal poison. They do the same for 100 years. Then there'll be enough white people to retake the West from Islam. Oh, my God, no one believes that, Nick Griffin. You see, you've let us down, you know you have, and you're using that as a cop-out. Oh, it's all over. Uh, it's finished. It's not, right? You need to stop using that as a cop-out, right? Because it's stupid. It's embarrassing, right? You need to get back in there. You see, it just looks like you joined the BMP to get elected to the European Parliament for uh, pension, pennies and pounds, status ego, and what did did again? What did you used to repeatedly say to me? You're going to retire when you're 54. Well, that would have ran parallel with two terms in the uh, European Parliament, wouldn't it? Yeah, very convenient. I mean, come on. If that's all you've joined the BMP for, then uh, that's scandalous. That that is appalling, right? This isn't all over. It's only just beginning. Do you remember that one you used to push as well? Another load of nonsense. Uh, peak oil. We're at the peak now, and it's the. Uh, uh, Using the, the last of the oil and it's we're coming down now and all the oil oil's going to be running out in 40 years' time. Like I've said, the public's not interested in what's happening next week. As long as there's oil and food and whatever here for them now, that's all that matters, right? That was another stupid dead-in-the-water message, that. Peak oil, right? Same with cultural Marxism and all the rest of the nonsense. They're not interested. What they are interested in is what's happening to them on a daily basis, like in London. Robbed, stabbed, raped, murdered every day. The, the trains, you can't get on them because there's that many people now in London. The NHS is crumbling. Schools, now you can't get your child in your school of choice because of the migrant baby boom. These are issues facing all people on a daily basis. Not save the white race, fight Jewish supremacism. Peak oil, traditional values and all the rest of the nonsense. Oh, I can't believe I have to still keep making these videos. I'll be standing again in Kensington and Fairfield here in Liverpool and I'll be pushing some good local issues. I've got some real good ideas. I've been reading Helen Rappaport's book, The Last Days of the Romanoffs. Very, very well detailed and researched book. Very sad how they made the Romanoffs, especially little child, Alexia, that was his name. A little haemophiliac in a chair, disgusting. Um, as usual, which I expected, the usual suspects get off scot-free. Uh, we know who they are. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to read Ellen Rappaport's other book tomorrow, Causing a Revolution, Petra Good, 1917. She's a good author, but Ellen Rappaport. Very, very good. Uh, we see all these books behind me. It's a hobby. It's not politics. I'll read them. I've got nothing to do, right? It's poli It's a history. It's history. That's all, right? Uh, that's what you are, Dr. David Jube. You're an historian now in a history club. They're fair enough. But I read these books... Uh, like sort of like in my spare time as a hobby but it's not politics i know what politics is and i know what i have to do we need to get back in there nick griffin in the uh white enclaves where whites are surrounded by hostile neighbors and we can win back those council seats and many many more and that will be the beginning of a real white nationalist revolution in this country we can do this right stop making excuses nick griffin come on Roll your sleeves up 
and get back in there. Okay, thank you.